All right, guys, welcome back. This episode, we are going to be doing some of the wiring and figuring out where we're gonna put everything. So let's take a bit of a look at some of the accessories that we want to wire in and maybe start figuring out where we're gonna have the switch panel and also placement of some of the batteries and other lights. So let's have a bit of a look now. Okay, so I haven't got everything yet that I want to put on the boat, um, but I've got a few of the key items which I'll be starting to work out um, earlier in the video and then we'll get to some of the other items further on in the video. So I've got a bilge pump and I've got some lighting to run and that's all gonna run to a fuse box. I've got a switch um, panel with, uh, I think it was six switches on it. So we'll have up to six accessories um, to be able to run on that. And we'll have this LED strip lighting, which I want some of that to be to light up the deck and then some also to light up underneath the hatches. We've got a separate um, circuit breaker and switch for another battery for the trolling motor. So we'll look at setting that battery up as one circuit and then we'll have another battery which will run all the other accessories, which I'll probably run that to the battery at the back of the boat. But I also want to make it that I could easily quickly pop another battery in the front as well to run that. So I'll try and figure out some sort of way to easily switch between the two batteries. Um, because what I'm planning to do is maybe be able to charge one while the other one's running. So I'll be able to swap them back and forward. So that is the main goal uh, for the start of this video. So what I'll do is I'll grab the switch panel now and we'll take a bit of a look at where we potentially can mount it. Then also how we are going to connect everything up to the fuse box. So that's gonna have to be close-ish and easy to access. So let's have a bit of a look, see if we can figure out a bit of a layout because once we've figured that out, all the wiring should be pretty simple. So let's take a bit of a look at that. Okay, so this is the switch panel that we will be using. So you can see it's got this USB port here. It's got a volt meter in the middle and then it also has a cigarette lighter on the end there. So I'm thinking I'm gonna try and wire it up so I can toggle the volt meter on and off so that that isn't running some LEDs all the time. And then I've also seen that when the switches aren't on, these lights light up. So what I'll try and also do is have it so that I can toggle those on and off so that if it's at night, I can just have the lights light on, but otherwise it'll only light up the switch once the switch is turned on. So that's the goal there. So you can see it's a decent sized switch panel. So I'll need to find a nice spot to mount that. And then we also need to find a nice spot to mount the fuse box. And you can see here, I've bought a few different wires that I'll need for the job. Haven't got everything yet because I haven't figured out exactly where everything needs to go. So that's what we'll be doing early on in this video. But what you can see is I've got some nice heavy duty um, wire, which is going to be for the main wire to the battery. Um, I'll be using the same for the trolling motor. And then I've got a few different gauges here. So I think I've got some some 12 and 14 gauge wire to do some of the other accessories. Um, so yeah, let's take a bit of a look. We need to figure out some sort of mounting pattern for these and also try and figure out where to place that on the boat. So my original thought was down in here. So having a little spot down in here, which we could have the switch panel. So in that sort of range there, I think will work quite well. Now I've, bought some chopping boards because I find chopping boards are actually make really good switch panels. So I've gone and I've purchased a few different size chopping boards. And I think this one here is not a bad size. So it should be enough to fit most of the accessories that I need on there. So we'll probably cut it back through here somewhere, but it should make a nice little mounting plate. So it'll be enough to fit this on there and then we should also have enough room to fit the smaller switch up on there as well. So I think I might turn that one there into a switch panel and I'll look to have it recessed into this space. Um, we'll have a bit of a sort of a built out section here, then recess in and then I'll see, I might even build it back out again down here. We'll see what looks good, um, but something like that. So let's take a bit of a look and work out the layout. Behind here, we should be able to have the fuse box down here somewhere or maybe even on top like that. But we'll have a bit of a look, take some measurements and maybe we'll start to cut out and build out this sort of recess. 
All right, so I've cut the panel now. So plan is that's gonna sit in here like that somewhere. And then I'll have the other bracket like that there. So I'll make it so that this panel can be removed to access the cabling, but we'll also be able to access the cabling from in the hatch. So now I'm pretty happy with that. I checked and the switch panel is gonna fit in there and it should be enough room to also um, fit another little switch to toggle the lights and the voltmeter on and off. But um, yeah, that looks quite good. So now I'll just get stuck into making the rest of the frame to put this all together. All right, so I've made the little frame to be able to mount the switch panel. So that's gonna go in here. So I've just finished marking it out and we want it to sit in about there so that the panel can sit in there nicely. Now, the one thing is, <laughs> I'm not gonna be able to get to screw that on the back. So good thing is I'm going to take this out, um, the whole framing out because there's a couple of other little bits I wanted to do um, as well. So I'm going to remove all the framing, mount this on the back when it's out of the boat and then I'll better quickly put it back in the boat and we'll go from there. So let's remove everything. Right guys, so I've got the frame now for the switch panel um, installed and that will go in there like that. And now I'm just having a bit of a look to figure out how we're going to mount the switch panel, also the toggle switch, and also I need to work out where to fit the fuse box in behind here. So um, a little bit of planning now. I'm, I'm trying to keep it compact as possible, um, but there's gonna be a fair bit of wiring in there. So I wanna be able to try and keep all the wiring in one area. And then also I just need to work on a way to make the fuse box easy to get to, but also um, going to be hidden from any water hopefully. So that is the aim. So I'll have a bit of a think, work out a bit of a layout. And then what I'll probably do is sketch out where I'm gonna do some cutouts on here and just start um, mounting everything in. That way I can figure out where I need to get all the wires to. So let's have a bit of a look at that. All right, so now I'm just gonna work out where I wanna mount the switch panel. So I'm thinking in the corner here, something like that. And then I've got the rocker switch, which maybe could go over in the corner here, or maybe even up here somewhere. Maybe up here somewhere. But what I'll do now is I'll just work out where we're going to mount this switch panel. Think down, so I've got this little part of the frame here.
guys. So I've mounted the switch panel, so that's fitting in there nicely. And then I've also made a bit of a bracket so that I can fit the fuse box up here on top. But once to focus, so the fuse box is gonna sit here up on top. So trying to keep everything as compact as possible. So it's gonna be <laughs> a little bit hectic trying to get all the wires in there, but hopefully that way we can maximize the storage. So what I'll do now is I'll just mount this um, panel in so the fuse panel in there, and then I might also just need to just trim out a little bit here to allow some of the cables to come through with a little bit of extra room. But otherwise, it's all coming together pretty good. It's keeping it nice and compact, which is what I was after. And oh, I just need to also probably put a little rocker switch down here to toggle the lights on and off. So I'll do those last couple of things and we'll take a bit of a look and then we can probably actually start running some wires. All right guys, so I've um, put in my rocker switch here. So now the next step is to look at what we've got on the back here and what I'll be doing is removing a heap of these wires um, because I've got a fuse block which will go through instead of at the moment, these are all sort of fused, all the switches are fused off of these three fuses. Um, I will probably still use these three, um, but more so just to fuse these three at the top instead of the switches as well. Now, I'm not an auto electrician, so I've managed to wire up a few things in the past without sending fire to things, but if you're not sure with this sort of stuff, I suggest you um, get someone who does. Um, otherwise, what I'll do is I'll be removing a lot of these because I'll be running it through to a fuse box instead. So. I will try and do that. I probably won't be able to do that on camera because it's very, very fiddly. Um, but I'll be disconnecting a whole heap of these red wires. So basically we've got red, um, which is a positive. We've got the black, which is the negative. And then we've got, looking at the wiring diagram, I believe it was the blue is the, uh, the blue is the, the positive for the lights and the yellow is the negative for the light. So, I'll be trying to wire those through. So probably those two will go through to the negative on the fuse box. This one here, I wanna run through to the rocker switch so that that will only turn on once I turn the rocker on, as well as I'll try and wire the voltage through, the voltmeter through to that rocker switch as well. Otherwise, the rest of these will go directly to the positive on the fuse box. So. Um, I'll try and disconnect a whole heap of stuff and then we'll have a bit of a look then. All right. All right, so I've managed to get um, all of the pre-wired um, bits and pieces off. So what I'm going to do now is I'll be running, I guess my own wires through from the fuse to the accessory. And then what I'm gonna do is I'll run the vault through to the rocker switch along with the lights so that the blue wire will come through to the rocker switch. And then I'll still use the inline fuses for these top three here. So what I'll do is I'll reconnect these outer two with the inline fuses. But what I'll do is I'll move the inline fuse to the other side of this switch here. Um, but otherwise, I think that should all be good. I'll start doing some wiring. Um, and yeah, we'll start to be able to wire a few things together. I might just wire up some LED strip lights for the hatches first, just to see, make sure everything's working. But yeah, I'll probably just start doing that and put it on a bit of a time lapse.
Okay, so we've hooked up the switch panel to the fuse box. So I've got power running now, just a bit of a test try. So this one here will turn on the voltmeter and also the lights. But at the moment, I haven't got anything connected to the switches. So that's what I want to do next. I think I might do some of the hatch lights. So I'll run that off the first switch. So let's quickly do that. So I've got these four LEDs, which I want one on each side here for the hatches, for the front hatches. And then I'm thinking mounting some lower down in here for um, lighting up this section here. So what I'll do is I'll run some wires and work out how I can get them all running off the one switch. So I'll run some wires now and we can have a look at it once it's all wired in. Okay, so just finished wiring up all of the hatches. So at the moment I've got it, I end up doing it to the second switch. So that one there will turn on the hatches. So we've got a light in each hatch there and then some lights at the front here. So I haven't got the wiring in fully yet because I'll be running some other wire. So once I've done that, I'll clean that all up. But I've got two in the middle for the front hatch and then I've got one either side for those hatches. And at the moment, I've just got that running off the second light switch there. So that still can toggle on the lights and the voltmeter. And then also turn on the hatches. So what I'll do now is I've just got a temporary battery at the moment that I'm using. So I want to run a, a few wires towards the back of the boat now so that I can hook up to the battery at the back of the boat. But also potentially I'll have a battery in the front hatches. So... Um, I can have it so it could be hooked up there. Now, as it all needs to be removable, um, I'm going to have to use Anderson plugs to be able to, I guess, have this all so that it can be pulled out. I've also wired it up so that pretty much so far, I've managed to get all of the wiring attached to the, the frame that sits over the seat. So this front frame can be moved out without any wires, but I will probably need to have some sort of wiring. I guess the wiring for the um, Min Coda is going to have to be probably attached to the front hatch but just trying to make it as modular as possible so that it's easy to disconnect and uh, yeah take out if need be let's run some more wires <laughs> Alright guys, so I've installed the bilge pump back down here. So I had to remove the floor for the um, petrol tank and I've just made a bit of a bracket for that to sit on down there. So I'll just um, quickly try and get a bit of an angle so you can see. Alright, so as you can see, riveted up a frame and then just um, screwed it to the underside of this platform for the petrol tank. But that's sitting in there quite well. Managed to get it quite close to the um, boat floor without it scraping so still need to do the hose and clamp that together but otherwise bilge pumps in all right guys so that is it for this episode have the bilge pump on switch one and then have the lights I ended up moving them down to um, switch number five just to make a bit more room there for some other items that I want to run but that is it for this episode I've run all the cables I want to which will be I guess trying to make any, anything under the hatch um, wide in now, that way it makes it a bit easier because next episode we'll get stuck into making some of the hatch lids and start putting on some of the aluminium sheet. So hopefully you enjoyed this one and we'll catch you in the next one.